So I was about to leave this morning, but then I noticed the topping lift was about to wear through. This pulley must have rubbed against there, so better keep on top of that, because then I don't want the main, the boom to fall on the solar panels when I take the sail down next time. So we just departed this little harbor here. Uh, it's a really nice little spot. They, they got me breakfast and Ulf set me up with a slip and a tour. It was a really nice place. Big thanks to everybody here. Now we're headed back uh, off towards, uh, towards uh, Stockholm again. Uh, I don't think we'll make it all the way there. Maybe Nye Shaven or something. I, I, don't, I don't know how to say it, but there's a spot along the way. I think we're going to stop. So we, we've been sailing for about two hours. We're almost done with the upward portion. But as we come out of this little inner island area, the, w the waves are getting bigger and that's hurting our ability to point upwind a bit. So we might have to do a few more tacks to get out. But then once we're around here, it's downwind all the way to Stockholm. Now we just turned downwind and we're doing six and a half knots, like instantly. We're flying. We might go further than I originally planned even if we can take advantage of this great wind. So we got, we got a little bit of time to go on the outside and then we start weaving our way through the, uh, all the little islands and stuff. So it'll take a lot of attention, but uh, I've got the autopilot to help me out a little bit. It's gonna be uh, a lot of fun sailing today. All right, we're back into the little islands. I gotta pay attention here. <laughs> Trying to record that. Oh well. Now we're, we're gonna go in between these rocks here and that will go through this channel. It goes through the Dragon's Canal. Um, it's, I think it's the most narrow uh, canal in, in Sweden. And, and the chart looks like it's only a foot deep, but I was told it's like two meters, so we should have plenty of uh, depth. So I think what we'll have to do is, it, to get to the canal, it's we're gonna be going directly upwind. So we'll sail as far as we can, we'll lower the sails and then we'll motor through the actual little pass there. sailing through the forest. So here is our channel here. I just dropped the mainsail and the, rolled up the jib. This side. Uh, main sheet. It's snug. Oh man. Thing is super cool. So I got about two or three feet on each side of me. It's crazy narrow. There's not enough room for two boats in here. Oh good, that guy's waiting for me.
I think if I had my sails out, my boom would hit the rocks here. Okay, so the motor died just as we were exiting the canal. And of course the wind turned the boat sideways and we blocked the canal. Uh, I think it's just a fuel filter. I could probably fix it, but I didn't really want to block the canal. So this nice family of boaters offered to help pull me out. And that seems to be working. Although they pulled me out backwards, which was very difficult. The Cape Joy doesn't like to go backwards. So I'm being towed backwards by these folks. I can't believe the motor died right here. Our heroes. <laughs> okay, so they released me and now we're sailing. And I think I should be good to sail out the rest of the way. I expect it's another clogged fuel filter. I really probably should have emptied out the tank and like filtered the diesel. It wouldn't have been that big of a deal. I could have got myself out, but it was sucked because there was a line of boats behind me and a line of boats trying to come in. Uh, so thankfully that like, I was able to tow me out of the way and then I could just put the sails up. Uh, but we were, I was towing, it was towing the boat backwards and so I was just like flopping all over the place. It was horrible. It looks like I actually could have sailed the rest of the trip without having to use the motor. Uh, but there's a few more of these little canals and they're mostly kind of downwind or across the wind. But sometimes they will... Uh, the wind will change or like come right at you and I could be kind of screwed over if I didn't have like a way to put the motor I don't want to block up another canal basically oh well that's not good what is that I think it's just the drain for the uh in for the fridge so that doesn't really matter yeah that's, that's the drain for the ice box thought we attached that okay so let's take a look at the, the filter Hmm. Well, that looks pretty clean, but actually that should be full. That should have more fuel in it than that. Hmm. Let me, whatever amount of gas. So I'm going to put a new one in there, put a new one in there just in case. Um, but I, I wonder if there's like a fuel flow problem. Uh, let me check the fuel tanks and fill this up with fuel. <laughs> Here's I made the right decision. We're going between this little uh, uh, cut because the wind switched right on my nose right as I was sailing through there. It went from behind me to in front of me. And that would have just uh, kind of spun me around and I'll probably hit one of these rocks. <clears throat> so the motor's running okay now. Uh, I think once I get out here, I put the sails up and we'll sail the rest of the way to this uh, town we're going to. Coming up on town now. We arrived at the harbor here in Nandeshaven, and uh, Oaks decided to sail his boat here too. Lots of other sailboats. So today I'm going to check my uh, filter. It looks like it's still full of, of uh, diesel, so I shouldn't have a problem if I need to use the motor later, hopefully. Just going to keep an eye on that. Let's see if. Uh, See what's going on there. The boat has a nice looking Dodger. The aluminum Dodger is pretty cool too. The marina here has this really big tall mast and it was actually from a Soviet sailboat that was going to enter the America's Cup but got disqualified because they used like a, some fancy titanium aluminum alloy that wasn't allowed. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we sail the rest of the way to Stockholm, and that should be a longer video. And then after that will be my how to sail video for beginners. And if that goes well, maybe we'll do like more advanced how to sail or like how to cross oceans and do all, we could do all sorts of stuff if people like it. If not, we'll just keep doing these little like sailing vlog things. We got a lot more passages coming up. Uh, right now I'm in Latvia, so I went to uh, Helsinki and then Tallinn and Estonia. And now I'm in Latvia. And then uh, I'm just like doing a new country every day, basically. Uh, we'll work our way down like through Poland and then through Germany, go through the Kiel Canal, and then Holland. And uh, I don't know, it's, I gotta keep moving quick because uh, my visa days, I've got like 30 days right now, I think, um, but it could kind of catch up with me because uh, I'm going against the prevailing winds right now. So I gotta take it any time the wind is good, I gotta go, gotta go. 
So it's not where I want to go, it's where does the wind allow me to go uh, and make progress. And I'm having a blast though. It's really, it's really uh, some really good sailing here in the Baltic.